Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Al of Best Cap Films. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to shoot real estate video using only your smartphone and another equipment that we're gonna be talking about shortly. So who is this video for? Well, this video is for anyone who's just starting out you know, to get into real estate photography, but doesn't own a professional camera yet. I'm pretty sure you have a camera or a smartphone with a camera and you wanna practice your shots, the different movements, the different composition, so when you get to that point, when you own your own camera, you already know what you're doing. And you can even land some actual real estate video gigs using a smartphone. This video can also be used for, for real tours who wants to do their own thing, wants to shoot their own real estate listing videos, and doesn't want to hire professional real estate videographers like me. I totally understand. Then you might find this video helpful as well. So yeah, so today we're going to be covering the equipments that you need, the different camera settings that you can use, and the different camera movements that you can do. So let's get right into it. So let's start off with the gears. Uh, so of course you're gonna need your smartphone, preferably something that can shoot wide angle, like the smartphone 12 Pro that I have here. So aside from your smartphone, you're also gonna need a smartphone gimbal. So today we're gonna be using the Smooth 5 which is the newest smartphone gimbal by Zhuyin. Smartphone gimbals are amazing to use to get that smooth, stabilized shot. Just a few things I really like about the new Smooth 5. It's its handy full control panel. It's got really, really strong motors. So if you have a fully rigged smartphone setup, uh, the Smooth 5 can handle that. It's also got the same round joystick as other professional gimbals like the Weibo 2 that I like to use. So getting smooth, accurate movements with this gimbal is very, very simple. Another really, really cool feature of this new Smooth 5 is this tiny thing right here, which is a light. So it magnetizes either on top or at the bottom of the gimbal. So when you're shooting and you need that extra light, you can just attach that, push the button on the control panel, and you'll get this super bright fill light. You can also adjust its brightness using the control wheel here on the panel. It also comes with this different color gel, so if you want to add some tint on your shot, let's say, you want it to look more red, pop that in, magnetize, easy to take off, or if you want your shot to be more blue, pop that in, just like that. Very cool. Okay, now let's move on to phone camera settings. So you can adjust your phone camera settings inside the Zycami app. So what I like to do is shoot in 4K, 60 frames per second. So the reason why I like to shoot in 4K 60 frames per second is so I can slow down the footage even more in post to get a much smoother shot. I also like to set my camera settings in full manual mode. So one thing I don't like with shooting with a smartphone, especially when it's in auto mode, is I'm sure you guys noticed this too, it's how it changes its exposure in the middle of your shot, especially when it detects different lighting conditions. So to avoid this, inside the Zycami app, just switch to full manual mode so you have full control of your exposure and how you how you want your lighting to look like. For me, since we're shooting 60 frames per second, I like to have my shutter speed at 1 over 120 or even 1 over 100. And my ISO around 1250, 1600 or somewhere around there. I just play around depending on uh, how bright it is or how dark it is. Okay, now we're ready to start filming. This first movement is very simple but also very effective. This is one of my favorite movements. It's called the dolly movement. So the dolly movement basically is just pushing in or pushing out. To make the dolly movement even more interesting, as you're pushing in or pushing out, you can add some tilting using the joystick on your gimbal. Next we have the tracking or as some might call it the slider shot. So tracking is basically just moving left to right or right to left. So a very cool feature inside the Zycami app is it can track specific objects inside your frame. And with this, combined with the tracking movement, you can get pretty cool shots like this without having to manually pan with the joystick yourself. And lastly, we have the crane shot. So when doing this move, same goes with tracking, you want to have a foreground in front of you. You can use the foreground to add to the scene and help highlight your subject even better. 
And that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you find this helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.